Wednesday morning. But me and Leanne just been chasing, <laughs> chasing the puppy around um, and tried to set it all down. So <laughs> oh, I was sorry for uh, being a bit late, but um, I think she's settled now. But you might hear her. You might hear her in a minute. Um, she's playing with a toy. So how are we all doing? Um, today I got some beautiful bracelets for you to show you. Um, I really enjoyed playing around and creating these ones. She's, she's playing over there. <laughs> Bless her. She's such she's such a little cutie. And we the the kids are back from the holiday. We got a name for her, and I'll let you know the name just in a second. So, how's everybody? How's everybody on this beautiful Wednesday morning? And keep glancing over her, uh, over there for her. How's everybody on this beautiful Wednesday morning? Let me know what you've been up to. Good morning, Edward is here. Yeah, what you've been beading, what you've been doing. So, and um, I'm just gonna get started. So, I have um, these bracelets in front of me. Again, <laughs> how many colors have you got, Leanne? A lot. <laughs> I couldn't. I could. I could. I couldn't stop myself. So we do have plenty of colors, but that means there is a color That's for you. Thirteen, Leanne is saying there's a color for you regardless of what sort of clothes like you wear like to wear I, I mainly wear like blues and blacks and navies and actually i got a few pinks and, and purples as well now i have been a bit more adventurous this year but um i have got a color for everyone okay so i'm gonna pop you over let's let's um pop you over to the website very quickly oh let me just move these windows down and then um we can i can show you the samples in uh, um in real life so going over to the website have i got <laughs> i got so many windows open just cross them just there we go so we good to go over there we go so um by now <laughs> you know the drill you need to go, need to go to totallybeats.co.uk um you are going to click on either this video tutorials button here or you're going to go into categories and click on the video tutorials there and go in that way so we got over hundreds of tutorials the last couple of years loads and loads and loads of them today we're doing the phoebe bracelet <laughs> Actually, lately Leanne's been naming these bracelets, and I'm I'm quite um I'm quite impressed with her. She's giving really good names. I love the name Phoebe. Um, so what we have here is um this twelve pound for the pack, which includes it comes with instructions as well. But let me just go into one of them. So it comes with um Toho size of seed beads. It comes with the glass pearl tube beads. It comes with crystal round three millimeter beads and miracle beads um as well. Um double class you get four in your pack, and then the only thing you need to add is needle and thread. Now I'm gonna scroll down here. I'm gonna point out you can add needle and thread right there in there. Printed instructions if you don't if you want us to print it out for you. And an extra tube beads now the kit will make you four bracelets but you need to divide your tubes up and so i will show you when i show you the real samples i will talk you through that one but if you want to have more tubes on the bracelets um because you all got different size wrists then um then then add an extra tube in the bottom to your kit so it's 12 pound today's then to 8.99 so that's a really nice saving that's over 20 percent saving on the kits today so going back i'm just going to show you the color we got aqua teal we got christmas wishes so i am quite conscious now <laughs> that the sea word is out everywhere so whenever i design something i'm going to be including sort of maybe one or two christmas colors so i know many of you ladies might be doing some christmas fairs coming up some little craft fairs or, or selling your jewelry so it's always good to have a christmasy color because any any jewelry or any any pattern anything can be made into um a christmasy so sort of using christmasy colors and it becomes like a christmas bracelet so um we got christmas wishes we got copper grape we got black sh diamond shadow we got dusty pink we got golden sand we got ivory rainbow we got lavender we got lime teal. I love this lime teal one. We got midnight gray. We got nebula aqua. We got 
Opal, Montana, and we got Royal Sapphire. So I'm going to come back and we're going to go down onto the mat. I'm just going to zoom in on this a little bit. Going to down onto the mat and then I'm going to show you all these beautiful samples. So this is our line up today. I can demo with any colors because I got them all next to me here. So do let me know which color do you like the most. I'm going to show you them in real life. And then when just, just when I say, well, when I say go for it, just then, then put the color name you like the most in the chat so we can very quickly identify who is liking what. Right. Good morning, Elaine. Camille is here. Good morning. Have you named the puppy yet? Yes. So. <laughs> We've been going backwards and forwards with the kids and <laughs> her name is <laughs> Roxy. So Roxy Bella, that, that's her name, is Christopher really, really wanted Bella. Um, I do know three dogs who called Bella, so I wasn't kind of like quite sure. Lucy wanted Millie, I wanted Tilly and I did like Maddie and we had like I don't know, 25 names <laughs> for this for this little lovely little puppy. But in the end, we kind of like agreed on on Roxy because she's got that Roxy Foxy look. Um, so yeah, I think I wanted something different for her as well. So it's not like um, I, I did like Alice as well very much. Um, and Amber, I did like Amber and I loads of them, but it's just so, so hard. So her name is Roxy. Good morning, Elaine, Adelina. Good morning. Um, Lucy is here. Good morning, Debbie, Carol, Diane. David Wolf is here. Good morning, blue skies in front of absolutely and the sun is shining. Charlotte, good morning, or shall I say good night? Janice, good morning. Celia, good morning. Um, Bridget, good morning from Germany. Um... Guten Morgen. <laughs> I had to think about that for a second. I had to say good morning in German. Uh, good morning, Mary. Good morning, Joe. Lucy popped pop the link in for us uh, on Facebook. Good morning, Sharon. Um, good morning, Terry, Elaine, Judith. Um, so good morning. She says good morning. All my beading family. Claire here in Staines today, but hoping it will brighten up soon. Good morning, Ruth. Um, Elaine says, love Christmas, which is one. Yeah, so I just think we just got to include one Christmas color as we go through. Well, try. <laughs> I'm not saying we're gonna, every single kid going to have a Christmas color, but I'm going to try to include from now on all the way up to December to, to include like one sort of Christmassy color. Um, Alison, good morning. Brenda is here. Good morning. Uh, Lucy saying, a few of us have already started Christmas bits in the beat club. Yeah, absolutely. We need to, we need to do like, I think for me, Christmas is like, I love the pre-Christmas sort of things when you're like sitting down and making and like, you know, doing baubles, doing decorations, doing sort of jewelry and all sorts of different ones. Look, I didn't even say put it in right now. And Lucy's already said pink, pink. <laughs> Lavender. Blue sky with fluffy clouds st stays, so washing will dry. Right, okay, so I am going to show you the colors here very, um, very quickly. And then I will ask you to, um, good morning, Josephine. I will ask you to put the... Um, the name in. Um, Belinda saying, I love the name Roxy. We had a dog called Roxy and she was the best dog. Love the bracelets. Thank you. I, I don't know any dog which is called Roxy and that's like, because like when I go down to the seafront here, um, it will be like, there's always loads of dogs down there. So <laughs> hopefully <laughs> I will be calling the right one. So, okay. Aquatil is this one. So we have got a like a hint of teal in the tubes, the seed beads and the crystals got a little bit of hint of teal in it as well. But the seed beads and the miracle beads are both, and I'm going to zoom in on this a little bit, are both more aqua color. I think it's very, very nice color combination there. Right, next one coming up is the Christmas wishes. So red and green with gold clasp. Just something sort of a little bit Christmassy coming up and what you can um, can sort of start making them. Next one is the Copper Grape, which is this one. Um, now with this one, the 
crystals have got a little bit of copper color in them so if I, as i'm turning the crystal can you see there's like a little bit of copper color coming through them the seed beads are grape and i choose these dark purple tubes for it and i think kind of like binds the colors together quite nicely some of the colors i try to blend the colors a little bit and some of them are try to do very similar colors so it's it's a nice overall color so next one is diamond shadow which is this one you know, I love my black diamond seed beads <laughs> and I use them quite um, quite often. The miracle beads are the shadow ones um, the, and the, the seed beads are the black diamond ones. And I choose in this very light gray color tubes for this one. Next one is, I'm sure, <laughs> Lucy's favorite, which is the pink, dusty pink. Um... It's got a light pink miracle bead in there. When I look at the picture on the website, it looks like a darker pink, but I think that just that how the camera just picked it up, but it's, the miracle bead's just just light pink as the rest of the bracelet. So kind of very much like a baby pink, like very light, um, light pink for this one. Um, next one is the golden stand. Now this one is actually one of my favorites. And usually I don't go for browns and and sort of caramelly colors but i think that with this one the colors just come together really really nicely and i love how the um, sort of bronze color seed bead just like form those little windows around your um your tubes i think this this one just come together really well i, I love this one next one is the ivory rainbow so that's again i choose in a lighter color tube with darker color seed beads so you can really have but I will show you when I start the instructions that you can do all sorts of different things because you will be designing on, on your own little windows sort of speak um, and sort of a, a yellow yeah, like a dusty yellow uh, crystals with the creamy uh, miracle beads next one is the lavender violet which is this beauty one here here I blended the colors almost to the tube so again, you got something nice, but like sort of an overall, gives you an overall color. Lime teal. I love, love, love this one. I haven't been using lime colors lately so much. <laughs> and um, I looked at this the other day and I was like, I don't know why not, because I do really like the sort of a lime game. And I love the lime grain with the teal as well, because I think they really complement each other very, very well. So next one is the midnight gray, which is this one. Again, it's a hematite color, sort of, it's a little bit, um, it's gray, it's a dark gray color, so it goes with everything. It goes with blacks, goes with grays, goes with white, goes with loads of, loads of different color. Next one is a nebula aqua, which is, where is it, this one, <laughs> right at the end. <laughs> so where is it, I can't see it. Um, so with this one, I have added sort of more sort of turquoise aqua color crystals and miracle beads. The... Tube is kind of like in between, and I went a bit darker blue with the seed beads, the nebula color. Next one is the Opal Montana, which is this color. So this is more sort of a denim color um, bracelet, I guess. Um, will go very well with jeans. Again, a little bit darker for the pearls and sort of a lighter color overall for the seed beads, crystals, and the miracle beads. And last but not least is the royal sapphire and this one is just a lighter blue tube with sort of a medium blue seed beads and um and the miracle beads um so go ahead put the name in which one you like the most and then i very quickly will go through and identify um which one need to demo with okay so i want to show you about the length so let me just actually move this out of the way and so in your if if you have if you in your kit you will have one one tube in there now it's you're not necessarily because especially if you're making to sell you not necessarily have to do all the way around so even if you just do partially and i'm going to put this on the top it's you still see the nice pattern on the top of the tubes and on the back you can extend it with the sort of carrying on the pattern with the crystals and the miracle beads as well and the seed beads as well uh, but you can really make your kit go further so there's four clasps in the kit because there's four of them comes in the kit so you can make four bracelet if you um 
kind of divide your tubes up. Now I use nine tubes on my bracelet, which just fits me. And you know, <laughs> you know, I've got a bit of a chunky wrist. So um, I use nine tubes. So if you want to go all the way around, then you're only going to make a couple of bracelets. But if you want to divide it up, then you can make more. You could make one, which is sort of the tubes go all the way across and you could make another three which is only have got partial tubes at the front and even though i say partial tubes like you know it still covers the whole of the front of my wrist so it's nice um it's a nice length to do or if you wanted you could just have like three i like sometimes uneven or or for three or five i like to use uneven numbers but after that i think you could use sort of any any number there so you got really got the option like how many but divide your materials up if you want to make four or or add more tubes into one and left tubes into the other bracelet it's really it's up to you you designing your own jewelry so okay um <laughs> This is such a lovely design. Natalie's saying, I just, I just uh, called that one. So let's have a look at the colors. Um, I need somebody to help me to count these because, um, because <laughs> I, I, I moved them. I've got, I've got, I'm not going to do the right race. I'm just really quickly going to go through and see which one. So Lucy's saying pink. Janice is saying lavender. Um, good morning, Pamela. Nice to see you here. Opel Montana. Roxy is a lovely name. Thank you. Roxy Cuddles tomorrow. Brenda is saying Brenda's coming over tomorrow. They are so mesmerizing. I think the blue opal. I will show you at the end. I'll I'll get her out. I think she just she just settled down. I can see her eyes are closed. So I'll get I'll get her out at the end. I don't want to get her out now now because then she's gonna get all excited and it'll be hard to settle her back down. So I'll get her out at the end, one hundred percent. Good morning, Pauline. Um, cute name for a pop. Hi everyone from a hot day in Cyprus. Very welcome to joining us from Cyprus, Maria. Um, good morning, Joanne. Right, so <laughs> saying I'm jealous. Good evening from Hawaii. Good evening for you as well, Judy. Um, I hope you having you hope you had a great day. Um, good morning from Connecticut, you ask Robin. Good morning to you as well, my lovely. Um, okay, so I am um, Belinda Saint Turquoise. Um, Eleni Singh never seen those type of tubes before. Another one to try. It's just like it's what something else what you can do with like sort of longer two bits because they are and Leanne's going to tell me just in a sec how big they are <laughs> she's going to look it up they're six mil by um i think they're like 16 mil or, or maybe 18 mil something six like that. six six by 15 mil so they are sort of larger ones um right yes christmas kit please <laughs> pink for lucy opal montana morning angela i think diamond shadow is lovely one too pink definitely my favorite Golden sand, please. Um, I'm loving the lavender violet, red and green for <laughs> Easter. <laughs> Ruth is saying red and green for Easter. I think, Ruth, you got your colors wrong. I mean, come on. We don't use red and green for Easter, do we? Golden sand, aqua. Good morning, um, Lisa. Nice to see you here. Pink for Lucy. We've got about three for pink now. Golden sand. We've got a couple of golden sand, a couple of lavenders. Um, pink for Lucy for um, the pink, actually, I think might be. Uh, will that show up quite well? Let me just have a look. Let, let me just put the pink up. So it's quite. Um, so it's not, not dark enough color. So we might have to go with. Might have to go with another color. Um, sorry? Lander. Lavender, lavender. Let's let's look at the lavender. Lavender, lavender is quite pale as well. We need something a little bit darker, I think, so it will show up well. Um, but I think the pink for the demo might be a little bit, little bit too. Um, the hematite shows up quite well actually. That's um, and pink for Lucy. Well, actually, they're quite quick to make, so we might be able to play around with <laughs> with all all the colors. The pink. Everybody's saying pink. Can we saying coffee? Um, golden sand. Yeah, we could do the golden sand as well. This one, this one is quite a nice um, color as well too. Did I pick up the right one? Yeah, golden sand. This is quite a nice color. And I think this one's going to show up quite well. And a few of you did say the golden sand. Um, <laughs> countries do lovely. Lenny's saying, 
So don't forget, the kids are £12 down to eight ninety nine today. Golden Sand, Jenny's saying. Um, <laughs> Easter Bunny. Um, Mark is saying Christmas. The blue denim one, yeah. Golden Sand then. Golden Sand. I think we're going to demo with the Golden Sand. Let Leanne choose a colour. Oh, yeah. Maybe we, should, maybe we should let her choose a colour one day, one of these days, since she's all naming them. Um, golden Sand. Yeah, we're going to go with the Golden Sand, which is this one. Cool. So I am just going to grab the beads and we're going to get started. So um, it's right here. So you get a whole tube. And on a tube, you have got, I think, 26. But I'm just going to double check it. 10. 15, 20, yeah, 26. I did, <laughs> I did like, I said, I've got 26 beads on here. <laughs> and then I'm like, do I, do I, do I have 26 beads? So you get 26 beads on your tubes. So you can like sort of divide. If you want to make all four braces, then divide it into four. Or you could say like, well, actually I'm going to make one hole. So I'm going to use nine beads for one and divide the remaining for the other three bracelets. You also get a whole strand of your crystals. And this one is just to knot it up. A whole strand of your crystals. There are about 200 crystals on these um, three millimeter crystals. You get a bag of your Toho beads and a bag of your um, Miracle beads. Miracle beads got about 120 beads in there. And actually, so let me just move this out of the way. Actually, the seed beads have about 450 beads in there. So you got, no, don't need that. So we got a lot, a lot of uh, beads there for for your makes. Um, I'm going to use super long size D. That's not including the kit. But um, if you do need one, it's one of the options right at the right at the bottom of the kit. You can add to it. So I'm going to treat myself to a new needle. All stuck together. A nice and straight new needle and then we're gonna get started making a very easy pattern really just sort of uh, it's again like a no-brainer pattern um very easy to make i'm gonna need a clasp as well i need to grab a clasp just quickly thread this needle lately i think i need to i'm gonna have to go and have my eyes checked because lately I'm finding harder and harder to check to, to thread the needle I remember as a child um, oh I don't know I must have been probably about 10 um, maybe 10 11 years old we used to do quite a lot of craft works um, with my mum and she always used to got me <laughs> to thread the needle for her and um, I always used to laugh at this and I used to say, oh, you call yourself an adult and you can't even thread a needle. And probably I am the same age now, but she was back then. And it was like, oh, yeah, <laughs> I know now. And I'm like, sorry, mom. Sorry, mom, I ever doubted you. Because now I find it hard to thread a needle. Um, Kimberly's saying coffee. Thank you so much to keeping me in track. So I'm just going to cut these beads down and pour the bags out onto my mat and we can get started in making. So you can design your, and there is a two, I'm going to grab the mat. So you can design how you want to do your bracelet. You can have like little windows or you can have like more of the crystals and miracles in the middle. Um, you can plan it out ahead or you can make it up as you go along. I'm going to show you how to, let, let's do this pattern. So you kind of have like the best of both worlds, but you can really mix and match the patterns. Or if you wanted to, you could do seed beads all the way along. You don't have to add a single crystal or miracle beads if you don't like them onto your design. I might do, I might do two seed beads next to each other. So you can see how does that look. So I'm going to start with, I'm going to just go through with one of the tubes. I'm going to go to one of the tubes and I'm going to zoom in one more. So we are nice and close. There we go. So I'm going to go to one of the tubes. I'm going to pick up one seed bead. Take that all the way down. Then I'm going to come back on into the tube. I'm going to pick up another seed bead and I'm actually going to go ahead 
and not my tail end and my working end together. Usually I don't like knotting things together, but for this one I want to give a really nice and strong base. There we go. And again, I just had an idea. Um, you know, we used to have the weather cam last year. I think, Liam, we need to set up a puppy cam. Oh, that's a great idea. <laughs> that's such a good idea. We have to set up a puppy cam now. Forget about the weather. We, 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 gotta, we have to show the puppy off. <laughs> right, okay. So, I knotted my tail end and my working end together. So, I'm going to go through the tube. So, I'm away for my knotted end. And I'm actually going to go through the seed beads as well. But as I pulled it through, it's automatically went through the seed beads. So I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up 10 seed beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And then I'm going to come around the other side and come through the seed bead on the other side. And I'm going to pull this up nice and tight. So I'm hugging the seed beads on one side. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up another ten. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to come through the single bead at the top. So I have just framed that pearl with my seed beads. And I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to pick up one more tube and the seed bead. And I'm going to pull this all the way down. Then I am going to go ahead and I'm going to go back through the tube itself. So I'm trapping that seed bead at the top there then I'm going to go through that single seed bead I'm coming out of as, as I'm coming out on one side and that side is connected to the tube I want to come through that seed bead from the other side so when I pull this up nice and tight that top seed beads can you see if I pull it up a little bit can you see it's got threads on both sides and then I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to go through one more seed beads towards the side. And now I'm going to do another one just with seed beads. So you can see how does that look. So now, because we already have got one seed bead here, I only need to pick up nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. But you can make your pattern as you go along. And I'm going to come through the top just here. And then I'm going to go ahead and pick up another nine. One, two, three, four, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm going to come through at the bottom. So I'm going to come through one of the side ones and the middle one. So I'm going to want to go through two seed beads. And from here, I'm going to come through the tube. And I'm going to come through that middle seed bead right at the top and I'm ready to add my next tube so I'm going to pick up another tube and a single seed bead take them down Kimberly's saying yes puppy cam absolutely I'm going to have to think she's going to have to have a permanent spot because I'm trying to crate train her at the moment um which <laughs> she's quite good but if she's out of the crate like then like you know she's she's sort of just jumping everywhere and and, and doing everything so i have to i have to think this through how are we gonna or where are we where are we gonna have her um where are we gonna have our little little lovey right so i want to add crystals and the uh, miracle beads for around this glass tube here so i'm gonna go ahead I'm going to pick up one crystal, one miracle, another crystal, another miracle, and a crystal, and a single seed bead, because I always want the seed bead next to the seed bead right at the top. So I'm going to go ahead and take this down and come through that middle one on the top of that top of that um, pearl bead and then I am going to um, went and just sort of move, move the camera over there so I'm, I'm going to repeat this on the other side but I'm going to do it in reverse order so I'm going to pick up a seed bead and then I'm going to pick up crystal 
Miracle, Crystal, Miracle, Crystal. And I'm going to come through the seed bead, the one before the middle one and the middle one, going through two seed beads. Pull this up nice and tight through the tube and then through the middle one. And that, and I'm going to continue this pattern all the way down. So picking, I need a few more tubes of the strand. So I'm going to pick up a tube and a seed beads and go on. Morning Trish, nice to see you here. Lucy saying yes to the puppy cam as well. So tube, seed bead. Taking it down, coming back through the tube and through the seed bead. She's such a good puppy. And at the same time, I'm going to go through a middle seed bead and I'm going to go out to the side. Now, because I added, I could add miracles and seeds again here. I'm going to add seed beads so that you, sh so that you just see how does it look like the two next to each other. So I'm going to go ahead and pick up nine seed beads. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm going to go through the seed bead at the top. And then I'm going to pick up another nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And I'm going to come through the one on the side and the middle one. And go through the tube and into the middle one so I can do my next little um, like spirit. but you can yeah like do all sorts of different patterns um, whatever you prefer really we're gonna run up and down on the sides at the end anyhow so you will still strengthen it this but try to keep a nice tension so in the middle and one of the side ones I'm gonna pick up crystals this time one two three four. and a seed bead and then just hooking in at the top make sure I'm pulling it nice and tight and moving on David is saying yes to the puppy cam yeah, Leanne, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to what we're gonna have to do <laughs> I was saying to her this morning we're gonna have to sort of kind of like take this room apart a bit and um, and just sort of change things around so we got more room to 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 have places for um for things. Yeah, such a good idea, though. I think it's a good idea as well. It'd be so cute. She's just sleeping there. She's I don't obviously we named her Roxy, but I don't know what gonna be her real name <laughs> because she chews everything. At the moment, she we might end end up like pet naming her Chewy because she just chews everything. Bless her. But I think that's normal for a puppy, isn't it? That they go through a period when they just chew. I mean, she has brought in probably about six or seven sticks from the garden now, <laughs> and that's her sticks. She she loves she loves loves chewing her sticks, and then she's got some chew toys as well. But isn't it amazing? And and it's always like when when children were smaller, and then you, <laughs> especially at Christmas, like you know, you get ready for Christmas and you go out and do like and buy presents and wrap it up and and do all sorts of things and like <laughs> by Christmas Day, like <laughs> you're so tired <laughs> of of all the running around and getting ready for Christmas. But um, anyhow, so it comes opening the presents and when the children are small, they're actually more interested in the box and the wrapping up paper themselves <laughs> than, than, than the present itself. So that's how like with her, like I got her a couple of chew toys, but she's not interested in those so much. She's interested in the real sticks from the garden. So I'm going to add another section of crystals and miracle beads and then two sections at the end to mirror this end for my bracelet as I go along but I do need you to give me some tips on what to do with her 
do, do need do need because like I all my life all my life I've always wanted a dog I always, and I never had one so she she's my first my first puppy my first dog <laughs> bless Sam and um I th I do think like I do have I do I do have a good one because she's quite calm she's very loving um she just loves to see everybody loves to loves to sort of but she's not really jumping up or maybe not yet maybe when she's got a bit older her behavior probably gonna change a little bit but very very calm and chilled um chill dog but at the same time like when we go out in the garden she's really energetic and i think she has got um she's gonna be quite strong because <laughs> she's pulling on the lead already and um she's really just just so strong like i can feel it already and she's only two yeah absolutely somebody's really saying choo choo train um she's she's already very very strong so i i i'm not sure once she's gonna be fully grown like i think she's gonna have a lot of energy bless her but um the kids love loves her like christopher's uh, christopher's already saying oh i love you <laughs> they were like hanging out in the lounge together yesterday. So, can we be like best friends? Bless them. So, I added the crystals and the miracle beads. So, the next round I'm adding seed beads. And actually, it's the last two rounds of seed beads we need to add. So, I'm picking up nine seed beads. And from the bottom, I'm hooking to the top. And I'm picking up another nine and hooking to the bottom some <clears throat> michelle is saying some vets do puppy classes good to socialize them with other dogs 100 percent. so like where i am there is so many dogs around me um so many of my friends got dogs as well and um i actually sometimes look after some of them but so many of my friends got dogs as well that um 100 i think it will be she will ne next door they got they got two dogs as well and it was quite funny because um he was saying that like they didn't know that um i went and got a dog because i didn't really like it wasn't really a spare of a moment because i've been mean, thinking about it for the last six months but um i was like oh so it's end of august now <laughs> i need i need to toilet train this puppy and um so I need to sort of need need to go and and get on with it and and get one and and be done and train it and all sorts of things. So next door they didn't know I got a puppy and <laughs> and when I when I took her around after probably about a week I just took took her around and knocked on the door and said like meet meet, meet your new neighbor and she said I thought we had you had you had a dog there because like when I let my dog out into the garden they like. They kept going to the fence, sniffing and barking. <laughs> I said, yeah, they do. So we need to get together. They, they need to meet her as well. So she's going to have loads of friends around here. Right, so I just added in the last one. And I'm going to go right up to the top. And I'm going to start adding the clasp on. I just need to go through the tube itself again. And through the middle bead and one of the side beads. So... And I got a nice little pattern. Yeah, I've got nine beads on there. I'll just quickly count it. So I'm just going to grab a... That's it, that's right. I'm going to grab... Oh, Lucy is saying, Defo socialize with other dogs, else you will end up with the absolute like my dog. Oh, bless you. Your dog is lovely. Right, so as I am coming out of the end down, I'm going to pick up three seed beads and then I'm going to go through the loop on the clasp. I'm going to take this all the way down and then I'm going to come back through the last seed bead. I'm going to pull this nice and tight and I'm going to pick up another two seed beads. One, two... And I'm going to come through, I'm going to come through the three seed beads right at the top. So the right on the side of my tube bead there to form. So a nice little sort of pointy end to my clasp. Then I'm going to go up and around the clasp again. 
through the hole and then back down. Now it doesn't matter kind of which side you're gonna go down first, but I'm gonna come through the three seed beads. Make sure this is, doesn't get looped around the clasp. And then I'm gonna turn my bracelet. I'm gonna pick up one seed bead and I'm just gonna go through all of this one, these beads on the side. Then I'm gonna pick up another seed bead and go through the next lot on the side. So I'm only going through the side beads. I'm not crossing over. I'm just picking up one seed bead. I'm going to go through the crystals and the miracle beads. And another seed bead going through the seed beads on the side. There's eight seed beads on the side. And keep on going until I get down all the way to the other end. Now, if you just made a selection of um, sort of a little middle piece and you didn't go with the tubes all the way to the end, then you still would do the same thing for the end. However, where is my sample? If you go into the point, but you add a length of beads before you go through your clasp. So you just kind of lengthen it, lengthen it there. And I like to put some crystals and miracle beads on there as well, because then it picks it up from the middle of the bracelet and it's kind of like looks complete. So I'm going to pick up another bead and I'm getting right down to the end now. And I'm ready to add the clasp on this end. So what I'm going to do this time, I'm going to pick up four seed beads. One, two, three, four and go through the loop on the clasp. And you will know <laughs> why just in a sec. I'm gonna come back through the very last seed bead. Pull this up nice and tight. And I'm gonna pick up two. One, two. I'm gonna come across the three at the top, just like that. And now we're gonna go up through the clasp again, but I'm not gonna go into the fourth seed bit here, I'm going to go to three, two, one, and then through the clasp to create the same and have the same flat path what we have on the other side, because this seed bit would be the extra was is the extra one what we would add in after adding the clasp. So we just kind of like cheated and and maybe <laughs> sort of saved a going around in circles for for one time. So, and then I'm going to go and run down, just get the tail out of the way. I'm going to run down and adding the seed beads in on this side as I go along. So all sorts of patterns you can make up, even if you wanted, like, you know, you could make up a pattern, not just crystals and miracle beads there, but you could use like, I don't know, two seed beads, three crystals, two seed beads. A, it's really it's up to you what patterns you want to make up and on the next one you might use one seed bead three miracle bead one seed bead whichever one it makes up the length of the tube so that's the only thing you have to keep um, sort of an iron that you want to have the length of the tube so whatever pattern you pick up and I'm just going to pop this this one in here so I'm going to pick up two seed beads I'm going to pick up three crystals. I should probably need four crystals. And another two seed beads. And I'm just going to measure it right next door to it. So now actually, as one seed bead, four crystal, one seed bead is a perfect size for one side. So you could do all sorts of different patterns. You could really make up your own pattern. You could do different different bracelets differently so they're kind of like the same but different and then they would look really nice if you stack them up and then you wear them like you, you could wear two or three at the same, same time but if you put different slightly different patterns on them then they're all going to be unique and different so i'm just getting right to the top now and then when i get here i'm going to add my final seed bead in i'm going to go up and around the clasp again so we've been up and around the clasp like three times, it will be nice and secure. Then there we go, coming back down. And I'm gonna take my thread into my beads, just like that. I'm gonna turn towards the tube, but it doesn't really matter. You could follow any thread path. I'm gonna add a one, 
one half hitch knot and one thread knot on the top here just pulling it through and before that loop disappears I'm going to go to that loop pull this up nice and tight and then go through the tube I like to do this a couple of times so just to be sure I'm going to go to the middle seed bead there but just the middle and again add another one I'm just caught the thread path the thread in between that seed bead and the tube and again adding a little knot on there and going through the tube and now I'm ready to trim my thread off there now I'm going to do the same thing with the tail we've got plenty of time so I'm going to do the same thing with the tail and then I'm going to get the puppy out for you oh my word she's just sleeping on her back her tummy to the ceiling she's just so so cute I'm going to have to wake her up <laughs> Leanne, <laughs> you can have the pleasure of making crap. I'm going to do the same thing with my tail end as well. Taking it through the tube. And I'm going to do a couple of knots here and there. So I can be sure. I know I've been knotted this, so it's not so bad on the tail end. Because you knotted it the tail end and the working end together right at the beginning. But I'm still going to stick and do. Um, I think Leanne's going to get her out still uh, gonna stay and do a um, couple of knots and then go through the tube and I'm ready to cut this one out. so it's taken us like I don't know I didn't look at the time when we started but definitely maybe 25 minutes to do a whole bracelet and um, I love it I really do love it so we have got seed bead seed bead we got crystals and um, miracle beads in there we have got um oh she's coming she's up <laughs> we have got a, a crystals and all sorts but you could do all different um roxy bella woof woof Camille is saying so you could do all sorts of different um patterns on these ones you could mix colors if you like um usually 12 pound 8.99 today and you can make up to four bracelets and um, you can make a couple of long ones or if you make one long ones and then divide your materials down and um use for that for the other three you might you might just want to have three tubes in the middle that looks quite good as well and the rest of them just sort of extended so very quickly oh she's coming very quickly i'm going to show you the colors again and then we are gonna have a look at that beautiful pup right so um colors aqua teal this beautiful color here next one is the christmas wishes and we have got copper grape which is this one then we have got diamond shadow which is this one next one we have the pink she's looking at me she's got the hiccups next one we got the golden sand which is the one i just demoed with this beautiful bronzy caramelly color next one we have got the um ivory rainbow which is this one then we have got nebula no midnight gray sorry first what am i doing I'm missing, no, it's in my hand. <laughs> the lavender is like, what am I doing? I'm missing one. <laughs> the lavender was in my hand. And then we have got lime teal. Then we have got midnight nebula. Or ne midnight gray, sorry. Then we got nebula aqua. Oh, she's just looking at me. She's like, oh, what's happening? Um, and then we have got opal montana. And then we have last but not least, we got this beautiful royal sapphire. So those are your colors today. A slightly went over will be the colors again. Um, Eight ninety nine today, usually twelve pound, and just beautiful, very quick makes, very quick makes. So, who is ready for the puppy? Um, let's let's have a look at the pup pup. Um, you ready? Come on. Come on. She's like, I don't know what's <laughs> happening. I don't know what's happening. Come on, come on, come on, come here, come here. Look, look at everybody. Say hello. Say hello. My name is Roxy. <laughs> Say hello. Oh, she's so. She's, she's a very calm, very very lovely, um, 
she's gonna she's 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 just she's just good she's just really good um so it's fitted in i guess with the family very well and only she's only been with us for just just over a week but she's already feels like a part of the family lovely 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 love, love her so this is roxy bella she's like what's going on there what's going on there what can i do like you <laughs> you want to get that don't you yes you do yes you do um and just think oh she's a gorgeous pup ruthie's saying she's so beautiful oh she's gorgeous i love her lucy's saying beautiful precious yeah she's 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 a very good pup um i can't grumble at her much um we had we did have a couple of accidents <laughs> we destroyed the wrapper oh that's all right you're gonna stay down there I'm just sort of conscious of her because I don't want her to eat any beads or anything in here. So um, we are sort of conscious of her when she's in here with us. But she's in here most of the days. She sort of goes and lays in her bed or lays on her pillow. Or um, when I do a live, I, I will go and put her into her crate. So just, just I just been to be really, really mindful. Um, love her coloring then is saying i love it too as well she's a beautiful um they say red <laughs> i say more like a caramel color but that's i i went when the vet to me so she's a red dog and i was like well she's not red <laughs> she's like no, no, no. that's what she called she's a red um so yeah, a beautiful girl love her really really love her right my lovelies that's it for me to this morning i am with you tonight and we're going to be playing playing on kitty robinson line we're going to be playing with the czech cabochon beads um making ooh, something up and actually I, I have to tonight i show you i did have more play with um with the beads I was using last week and actually came out quite well but Leah moved a few bits around so I don't know where she moved it but I'm um, joining tonight and I'll show you um, I had more play with those ones as well as we're playing with Czech Cabajons um, tonight so that's 7 p.m. tonight on Kitty Robinson Designs everybody have a beautiful day and I'll see you very very soon bye everybody bye bye bye